In tonight's Northwest Grown, we're showing you how to get locally grown fresh food along with a chance to meet the local farmers who harvested them. It's a really great event. It's called the annual CSA Share Fair. It happens this weekend. That's where you can come, sign up for what's called those Community Supported Agriculture or CSAs to buy shares from farmers. Yeah, whatever your budget or household size, there are all kinds of options and yes, you get fresh food out of this. I did get the chance to preview one of the cooking demos you'll see this weekend, and that's with Wendy Downing of Three Sisters Nixtamo, which makes tortillas in Southeast Portland. Tell me what you're making today. I am making a um, mushroom taco, or, and I'll put some cheese in there, so it's almost like a little mushroom quesadilla. Oh, and nice. I'm going to use some seasonal ingredients I got from the farmer's market, some beautiful oyster mushrooms, some shiitake mushrooms. If I had some wild mushrooms, if I had picked some up at the market, I would have those too. And then um, I'm gonna add a seasonal ingredient to that, which would be the kale, because there's so much kale around these days. I'll just sliver a little bit at the end and it'll pick up some of the flavors of the mushroom. And then on the side, I've, um, we'll do a little red cabbage slaw, like a little salty, limey slaw to go with it to give a little crunch. And I like to use olive oil and everything, so. It's, uh, but you could use a milder oil as well if you wanted okay. to. Okay, is this gonna give so, heat? This will give a little heat to it. So I'm just using what I have um, from the market. And so today I use, I'm using green onions. If I had a white onion, if I just had shallots, even if I had a leek, I would use that instead. But what I did is I used a green onion and I'm using the whites for the mushrooms and then I put the greens in the slaw. So nothing is wasted. And you're big on using local ingredients, of course. Yeah, I really love to shop at the farmer's market or through a CSA. Even if I have a CSA, I still go to the farmer's market to just get those added things. And then I also, I love it because I feel like it's almost a challenge to make sure you get through everything in your box sometimes. Like, what am I gonna do with the kohlrabi? And I guess I'll have three bunches of kale this week. So, you know, you can, um, it's, it's just wonderful getting things that are so fresh though, so much fresher than, than what you can find in your typical grocery store. So this is sizzling up nicely, and I'm just gonna add the mushrooms to it. And it'll just take a few minutes. I'm gonna add a little salt. And one more thing I'm gonna add is, this is a dried herb that's called epizote. Epizote. And it's got a nice skunky quality to it, and yeah. it's, it's distinct. really distinctive flavor. But you can also substitute Mexican oregano or, um, or regular oregano if you don't have Mexican Now skunkiness oregano. may be a turnoff if you're trying to cook with that. <laughs> so what do you say about your terminology there? Oh, okay. Yeah, it adds a depth and an unusual flavor that really goes with, uh, with the hardiness mm -hmm. of the mushrooms. Again, you use whatever you have because anything can go into a taco. So I'm gonna make a really fine chiffonade. Right now it's kale season here in the Northwest. And so if I had spinach, if I had this in the summertime, if I had tomatoes, I would chop up some tomatoes and put it in there. And then we're gonna heat up a tortilla and oh. um, we're gonna make a quick mushroom quesadilla. And it'll have the slaw on the side. So that's what I'm working on next. Um, you can use any cheese, or if you want to go vegan, use a vegan cheese, or don't use any uh, cheese at all. So that's going to melt, and you can have it soft, and then if you want to crisp it up, you can put a little oil in there to crisp it up. The dark color on this, can you talk about that? Oh yeah, so we make um, organic corn tortillas in yellow, white, and blue corn. So this is our blue corn tortilla. You can find these in the stores. Um, you can buy them from us directly. And so it's not, most people might think of tortillas as being yellow corn or white corn, but there's corn of every color of the rainbow. Oh, that looks beautiful. Ready to go, and then we have these slaw to go inside or just to eat as a salad on the side. That is awesome. And just like that, you just made a quick and simple Looks pretty healthy dish. Can I try? Yes, and please, please. <laughs> mm. It was really good, you guys. So easy to make that. By the way, Wendy and her co-founder, Adriana, will be cooking up some tasty dishes at this event. There will be other local business owners, too, showing you the ways that you can use local ingredients, plus more than 45 area farmers you can meet then sign up to buy shares from them. So this is the 8th annual CSA Share Fair this Sunday at the Red in Southeast Portland. That's at Southeast 8th and Salmon. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will be a fun event. All right, but how is the weather looking? <clears throat> Natasha, we all 